What's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Um, check the description for all my information. I have uh, Patreon if you want to support me on there. I do the premium problems. Discord is a great way to get in contact with everyone building the community there. And then you can follow me on GitHub, too. Thanks for that. Reverse link list, two. Uh, we did a reverse link list, one. Recommend learning that one before this, but we'll go over it a little bit here. Um, this is a medium problem. A lot of likes. Pretty easy. It's not too bad. Same as reverse link list, a little twist. Uh, so reverse a link list from position M to N. Do it in one pass. So instead of reversing the whole list, so instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 becoming 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we're only reversing from position 2 to 4 inclusive, meaning the position 2 is reversed and position 4 and position 3, all reversed. So you could see here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is position 1. This is position two, so we start here. So from position two to three to four, these will get reversed. So from two to four, it gets reversed, inclusive. And you can see the output is two, three, four reversed is four, three, two. So it's just one, four, three, two, five. That's it, um, not too difficult. So what is the strategy here? Well, the strategy here is uh, you just use these counters kind of you can you can make your own counter or you could just use these and decrement them uh, Just get up to the position. So just you know loop up to the traverse the list to the position so once you get here and then reverse this portion of the list and then just uh, Connect it make sure everything's connected and then you're good to go. I mean, that's it. It's pretty easy So to start off, we'll just check if head is null so we can return null if it is, because there's nothing to be reversed or returned or anything. Then we will uh, set up our nodes. So prev is going to be equal to null. Uh, list node, current node will be equal to head. And then we'll say, okay, while m is greater than 1, we will do prev equal current node. Uh, current node equals current node dot next. So this is just traversing until we get to the correct position correct positioning and we're going to be decrementing m and n um, we're decrementing both m and n because we're going to do a similar loop later on where we say well n is greater than zero so we want to decrement n so that you know from the position we get to we only have to go n spaces to get to the end of uh you know what i mean so like for example like uh and we're passing in two and four right so the First, we're just going to traverse. So the current node starts at head. We go current node equals while m is greater than one. So two is greater than one. We go, okay, this node, let's go to this node. So then we get here. It breaks out of the loop. We're at the right positioning. So previous will be here. Current node will be here. And then we can start to actually do our second loop while n is greater than zero. n is three now. So we would do three, two, one. And you know that it's zero. So you know what I mean? That's the whole point of decrementing n. Uh, the only thing we're going to need to do as well is create some variables. Uh, one's a connection variable, a list node variable for, um, we're setting that to prev. This is going to, we're going to use this to connect to the head of the reverse part of the list. I'll explain that in a second. Uh, tail is going to use to connect to the end as well. So we're just going to set this one to current node. Um, so while n is greater than zero, obviously decrement n while we loop. And then this is just the same as reverse link list. So I, I'm hopefully you guys are familiar. You just do, uh, you get the next node as you traverse. So we're at position two. We're saying, okay, get the next node three. And then we're saying, okay, current node dot next is equal to prev. So we set the previous node. Uh, as the next node, then we do prev equals current node, and then current node equals next node. That's why we needed the next node variable so we didn't lose reference. So you grab the next node before you update it so you don't lose reference. Then you set the previous as the next node. Obviously, this is just how you reverse. Check out the reverse link list for a more in depth explanation. I did it one time pretty professionally. Um, and uh, yeah, that's how you reverse it. And then we're going to be returning head at the end of all of this. But um, we're going to say, okay, if connection node is not equal to null, then what we're going to do is we're going to say connection dot next is equal to prev. And we do this else head is equal to prev. 
and let me explain. This is probably the, these are probably the only tricky parts is we do the, an itchy nose. Sorry. I don't know what's going on. We do this because um, connection is previous before we start. So when we end, when we get out of this loop, when you're, if you know anything about reversing a linked list, when we turn two, three, four into four, three, two, it doesn't exactly look like this. Um, it's, it is like this, but um, there's no reference from one to four, three, two. Four three, four three two is all set up. Like the the list gets reversed, but there's no reference from you know where we left off at the. That's why we make this connection variable, because we break out of this loop up here, at the correct position where we want to start reversing. But we need to connect you know the one. So we'd see one, we'd get here, and we'd be we'd be like, okay, let's reverse all this. One and four three two are not connected, so we have to connect those down here. Um, and if connection is equal to null, then you just set head to prev because that would just be the reversed list, right? And then this is pretty much the whole solution. There's only one other thing is this tail variable that we also need. Uh, tail.next is going to be equal to current node. And yeah, that, sh that should be um, everything. Current node.next, not a statement. Sorry about that. I don't even know where that is. Line 20. Current node equals current node.next. That's how you traverse. Sorry about that. There you go. And uh, you set tail.next to current node because tail is the end of um, the list. So you want to connect. Sorry, let me think about this. Current, you loop through, tail gets set to current node. T yeah, tail is the tail is the you could see if you were looping through and you get to this initial point, it current node leaves off at two, and you want to set two dot next equal to current node at the end of. Uh, so <laughs> you're sorry, I, I'm not that good of explaining. Um, I guess, but um, this. It's a little tough to explain. The um, the current node after this is the head of the part that you want to reverse. So this chunk, it would be like two in this case. You want to have a reference to that with tail so that once it's reversed, you have to, we connected the one to the four, three, two, but we have to connect the end of the reverse part to the rest of the list. So that's what tail.next does. It equals to current node because on the last iteration of the loop, current node equals current node.next, so it equals the last part of the list. So you set tail.next to current node to connect all the lists together, and then you return head to get everything um, you know, straightened out. And uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, I think I went over every part in detail now. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Check out the reverse one first if you didn't understand. Uh, I, I know I was fumbling a little bit there, but these are long. I don't have, you know, I'm doing hundreds of these, so I don't have time to just keep redoing or editing all this stuff. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank everyone that supports me, and uh, see you guys in the next one.